Fudge Walsh, we're back again. Can you believe where we are right now? You made the prediction of a 4-2 four, a four Mariners final, but now we are 3-3. Three, three, heading into overtime for the Battle of Avenue S. What do you got to say, Pudge? Well, what I got to say is this right now. The Jack and Deli, they squeezed in that goal like they squeezed in that mayonnaise of the sandwich. But the Mariners are going to come back flowing like the beer flows that they're going to win. Score the goal and win the hockey match. Wow, and there you have it, folks. But, like I asked before, but we lost the interview. The million-dollar question is, if whoever wins this game goes on to the cup and loses it, does this game, does anybody remember this game? I will definitely, and everybody on the West will, because if we win the Mariners, the price of the sandwiches will probably go up by the Amateur West and Jack is telling the price of the sandwich will go up with a Mariners win, or a if the Mariners win, Jackie Stelly will definitely. I think they got to drop the price of the sandwich, and Mariners prices of beer got to go up then, no? Well, if the Mariners lose, well, it depends. You know, it depends on the flow of things in the, in the beer industry against the sandwich industry. You have to right. point on here, you know. Can you go to, Ma to Jackie's Deli buy a sandwich, just bring it over to Mariners, and have a good time? Oh, definitely. You have a sandwich. They make a very big, humongous sandwiches. All right. Very good, you know? So at the end of the day, we'll just all do that. We'll get a sandwich, go back to Mariners, have one, and we'll talk about this game one day. Sounds good? So Mariners all the way or what? Mariners all the way. No doubt, in overtime, Philly scores in overtime. Philly scores in overtime. You heard it here first. Pudgy Walsh to Kings Bay for the first time. We'll see you after the game, Pudge.